Thank you for uh, listening to us. Uh, when the war in Ukraine started, um, like many people, I was completely distressed about what was happening. So I didn't know what to do. So what I could, I did what I could do was I decided to make a guitar and channel all my anxiety and uh, distress into the guitar. So I made a guitar with the intention of donating every penny to charity to humanitarian aid in the Ukraine. In Ukraine. And uh, it, 29 day days later, I had finished it. And then um, I was going to raffle it or auction it. And it suddenly became, as uh, Baker was pointing out, there's all sorts of legislation that became incredibly difficult for me to do those things. And then I was incredibly lucky that uh, an anonymous donor donated a huge amount of money. And he said, I'll put you out of your misery. I'm going to just donate $100,000 to a charity that gives humanitarian aid directly to Ukrainian people. And uh, that was way more than I dreamed I was going to make. Um, right off the bat. And then he handed it back to me and he said, continue fundraising, it's yours to fundraise with. Wow. And what I'd love to do is end up putting the guitar in the hands of, he said Zelensky, but we settled with putting it in the hands of the, the people of Ukraine. So this guitar is a gift to the people of Ukraine. And um, what we've been doing, and I've, well, I've had people helping me, even though I made the guitar, once this initiative started, I had people helping me and I had an incredible team uh, including uh, the anonymous uh, donor and uh, Stephen Bennett in Connecticut helped me uh, and I had Wranglers so people would take the guitar and they would uh, put it in the hands of uh, well-known musicians with the hope that they would tell their um, fans and supporters about the project and donate so we set up uh, two charities one in Canada one in the United States and I have two other Wranglers, which are on the stage with me, who I could not have done this without. <laughs> Isaac Yang, Los Angeles, my Los Angeles Wrangler, and Joe Fraser from Nashville, and Stephen Bennett, New Thank you. And they have worked their butts off uh, putting the guitar into the hands of some incredible people who have signed the case. So the idea is the guitar goes hand over hand over hand, and eventually it will end up in Ukraine and be presented when, when the time is right, when it's appropriate, because there's obviously a war going on. So what we're asking people to do is just donate. You don't get anything back except satisfaction that you've helped people that are in tremendous need. And we've got two charities that are incredible, one in Canada called the Canadian Ukrainian Foundation, and uh, in the United States, the 1K Foundation, which gives a thousand bucks cash directly to families in need and they don't, they're a volunteer organization, and they've, uh, they're doing an incredible job, so the, the families get immediate relief, kind of like bridge financing, till they can get on their feet. Um, and do you want to talk a little bit about the experience, Joe? Because you're, he's like the incredible Joe Glazer, who's like, I, I, I met him, I called him out of the blue, and he jumped on us. Yeah. I've never been called that before. The incredible joke. Um, <laughs> so the idea was that a, a little charity organization has a certain amount of reach, certainly a great cause. I don't wake up in the morning being shelled or I'm not sleeping in a ditch and eating grass and all the other stuff that these people are going through. Um, I, I took, I started, the idea was that and Linda and I have talked about this, that, that if, if the guitar could get enough attention that millions of people giving $3 or $5 or whatever they could would be much more effective than one or two more people buying it for 30, 30K. And people are sort of tired of the whole anything within about a week in the US. But the one thing we all agree on no matter who you voted for for president, which football team or whatever team you like, one thing we agree is this, this is a terrible situation. It's unfair and that it's being brutally foisted on the Ukrainian people by a guy that uh, we all thought was great, Vladimir Putin. Um, but I mean, it's just brutal. So I, I started talking to some artists. I, it's actually Brad Paisley. Linda said when she, after she, got don money donated, she said, Brad Paisley and Brandy Carlisle are doing a telephone. 
would he hold it or put it in the background? I called him up and he said, yes and no. Yes, I would do it and it's too late. And, 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 but maybe there's something else. And so the, we, we were just talking about is the, the idea came up of getting a bunch of people who had reach and clout to sign it and buy in on it in terms of just their, the fact that they agreed with this. And then that at a certain point, we would go back to them all and they would, um, that they would post something about this to their millions and millions of fans, which is what's about to happen. And hopefully some of those people will forego a cup of coffee at Starbucks or something and, and give money for what is still and going to continue to still be a tremendous cause with tremendous need. There's a lot of them in the world, but this is, this is one of them that's in front of us every day. As far as it goes, one of the, the first people I talked to, I mean, I, I took it to Paisley and Dolly Parton and Keith Urban and we got to James Taylor and Joni Mitchell and on and on. You know, uh, Isaac added tre tremendously important names to it. But it's not about the names. It's about that, that reach that they have. And it's about the fact that once, once it's released, it's sort of an opportunity for us all to tell our friends, please do something. It'll, it'll make us all feel better, and it'll certainly help those people. There is, one of the first people I talked to does have that direct um, avenue to Zelensky, and so it would be wonderful if it makes it over there and he gets it and he can give it to a school or you, you know the people or a player. He's a guitar player, it turns out. But he's, he's still cool anyway. And, um, <laughs> so that's the idea. So, so if you, every bit helps. So if you want to donate something, that's fine. But also, if you just tell all the people you know, because you know, we all know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. Tell us how to donate. Uh, Sun, okay. Sunflowerguitars.com. Why don't you talk about your experience in LA? My experience in LA? Hi, my name is Isaac Jang. I am a guitar maker. Uh, uh, Linda is one of my guitar heroes, so is Joe. And uh, Prepper Journal podcast, she did it early on, and I listened to it, and I was like, ooh, I need to reach out to her. So I sent an email, uh, Linda, if you need any contact, maybe I can try to arrange that. Yes. And, and Linda said, you're going to be an LA Wrangler. I'm like, Linda Menzer's telling me, Okay, I'll take it. And I got the guitar and I was like, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so I reached out to a few of my uh, good friends, contacts, Fred Wallachie from Westwood Music, who was my former boss, and a couple of my pro musician friends. And first thing I did is I went to go see Fred and he doesn't have a vocal cord, but he's just so much energy, so much uh, just, you know, just love. And he said, first thing that he said, it would be great to have Joni to sign the guitar. First thing, he pulls out his phone, calls Joni, Michi, uh, Joni Mitchell at home, and set up an arrangement. I call Linda. Um, I have a news. Uh, I think you might have to fly, or yeah, we're gonna have to go FaceTime. And she said, "Let me book a flight." And she flew in, and we spent the whole day. But that was just the beginning, and we got to go. Uh, I mean, that just flew into the whole natural status of everything. Just, I mean, the guitar was just going to its places that it needed to go. And I was just a messenger, uh, and I got to, I feel like the most luckiest messenger who witnessed all this music community uh, putting love and support toward the people of Ukraine to just say, hey, you know, we got your back, we're sending love, and we really uh, are behind you. And that's what I got to witness. And I just took a very small part in just being a Wrangler, just carrying the guitars around and being able to see that. and. Uh, yeah, everyone was very supportive, and the way to donate is you go to sunflowerguitar.com, sunflowerguitar.com, and there are two clicks you can go. If you live in the United States, you just go to the click, donate. If you live in Canada, then there's a Canadian button. And you get a tax receipt. And you get a tax receipt. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And, and then also, it also shows the uh, live status uh, journey of where the guitar is, and you get to see all the up-to-date um, of who's seen the guitar, who got to sign the guitar, who's supporting this whole project. But it was incredible. I mean, we had people like Johnny Mitchell, David Crosby, to some of the younger guys like uh, Ryan Lerman, John Legend, um, 
uh, Mason Stoops, Marcus Mumford. I mean, we, get, we just got the whole array of uh, people who were just supporting it. So uh, fantastic. So I, I am just very thankful that I got to partake. Uh, and uh, yeah. These guys work hard. Um, I just want to also say this for me is a real testament to the music community of the, nobody said no. Everybody said yes. It was just a matter of getting to them. And uh, I, a lot of people have helped behind the scenes. And I want to, like, Baker, thank you for letting us even be on the stage today. Um, and I just want to say thank you to all of you. And what an amazing, loving community we have with a lot of heart. And this project is a, a reflection of it. And hopefully the people of Ukraine hear that message. And uh, also they get tons of bucks. So give lots of money if you can. To so sunflower. You might. You oh, might is it a yeah. It's also signed by a, a tremendous oh. list of, of the best luthiers alive in the world. So it's 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 there's really quite a story in this case. Um, when we first started to do this, we we're thinking about the fact that signed guitars are trashy, but nobody really focused has ever focused on signing a case. Which is kind of cool. So that the guitar is still a beautiful unsigned guitar, as George Bruin says, it would be worth more without the signatures. But nobody's ever said that about a case. So that's that's pretty great. One thing about all these artists, it's really pain. I work for a lot of people and a lot of common people. It's very painful to, to add yourself to the list of going to them and going, I got this favor. It doesn't, know, doesn't matter how long you've known them and how well you know them. It's really painful. Every one of these people was like, what can I do? I'm so glad to have something I can do to help. And so that's really been passed on to us to keep going. Thank you. Uh, do we have time for, do we have time for a quick song or is sure. it? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Uh, so now you get to hear it. It's these strings are have been played by about fifty to a hundred people, so they're not fresh, but they've got amazing DNA squished into them. <laughs> and so Tim Farrell is going to play something. Thank you. Thank you. Tim, your eyes have to learn something. <laughs> Nobody has said no, so thank you for saying yes. <clears throat> yes, I, I will learn something. Um, <clears throat> some flower guitar, what else are you going to play? Mm -hmm. 